hello everyone so yeah we decided to host a global game jam event in sri lanka with sri lanka unity developers and we sponsored as arimac so i represent arimac so yeah so at the beginning of the session i wanted to share some of my thoughts some of tips for all the developers who join the global game jam with us but uh, due to the prevailing situation with the corona outbreak and considering the safety of all the participants so we decided to convert this to an online event so yeah we wish we could do it as we planned before but unfortunately this is the way it has to do now right so okay so anyway so i got some stuff to share with you guys so right so the game uh, game jam so this is like you got 48 hours to breathe life into some idea something that you think of something that you want to share with the rest of the world so you have that idea and you have the time and a team and you can make it happen within these 48 hours so yeah it would be fun and also it would be a great learning experience as well also you will find some people some friends and possibly some business participants business partners or colleagues so yeah many things right so let's get started with the session okay so yeah before that yeah so uh, most of you are here most of you who participate the global game jam so that's because you have some passion towards this game development uh, industry so yeah congratulations so you are here so that means you have already started your journey so it may be hard but you have already started this so as you know as you have all heard every journey starts with a single step so you already started you have already started it so yeah congratulations again all right so i am tilna premisiri currently working at arimac as a head of game development and okay so that's about me right so yeah before starting the game jam Perhaps some of you may thinking like what are the things that I should know in order to participate? Well, I don't really think you especially have has to know anything like especially in the game development side because but all you need is the passion. All you need is the drive to develop something. So if you have that, well, you have time and well 40 48 hours is much time so you have time to learn something learn the things that you need and create some concept into a game so yeah nothing worth mentioning right so right so you will be given the topic and yeah when you are given the topic you have to come up with an idea for the game of course so but yeah i would say it's okay to dream a huge game come up with a huge idea but for 48 hours take a simple part from that huge dream you have and create a more refined experience by narrowing down the scope and doing it with the simple part you selected so yeah later on you can add into that idea and develop your game into a huge one if you like but for the 48 hours keep it simple all right so yeah that would be great and okay so yeah with that said i want to share some of the tips that i think it would be helpful for you guys so all right let's see this may be not applicable for all so this is just my personal opinion but uh, right so the first thing is yeah don't forget to sleep you have 48 hours but that does not mean you should put all 100 percent of it into your work so if you take at least four hours sleep four hours sleep 
in the two days in within 48 hours that wouldn't mean you are going to be unsuccessful so because it would actually help you to boost your performance after the nap you can work faster you can work clear with a clean mind so yeah that's the first tip don't forget to sleep and the next thing so yeah when you have an idea you might it's uh, usually tend to overthink it and try to over plan it so yeah please don't do that just think of what you want to do and quickly come to an agreement so this is what we are going to do and start working on it so uh, the sooner you start working on that idea so things would be much clear when you are actually doing it so if you think that this idea is not going to work then if you haven't spent much time on that you can throw away that idea and you can start fresh but if you have spent a considerable time and the remaining time may not be enough to develop something new so then well basically salvage what you can with what you already have so yeah that would be better so yeah anyway so don't overthink and don't stress yourself so don't over plan just get together and think of something and start developing it so right and the next thing keep it simple well, you already know 48 hours is all you have and so therefore you should understand the amount of work that you can do within that time so keep it simple so yeah that's all and for a game just because it is simple that never means it is a bad game for example if I say like if you build a game level if you build a game with 10 levels let's say 10 levels with um, well let's say 10 mediocre levels so it is better to have one refined perfect level than having 10 mediocre levels so yeah keep it simple uh, and create a more refined experience okay and the next thing is uh, select the most familiar technology so you know there are plenty of game engines technologies that you can use so right but even though there are so many engines so many technologies uh, let's say if you are already familiar with some engine let's say it can be unity or it can be unreal or it can be game Maker, or anything so if there is something that you are already familiar with so please take it please use that engine because uh, it is better to spend more time on creating your idea more time on realizing your idea than acquiring new knowledge so right select the most familiar technology and you can use the marketplace assets I mean uh, not necessarily marketplace so if you have the rights or the license to use uh, given by the author of that asset uh, you can use it so well the image is a Sri Lankan village fair it does not really accurate with the game so anyway it is a marketplace so that's why I put it there right uh, so yeah so you can use marketplace assets no need to be ashamed of it mm, anyway the idea is like creating a game so you can create a game and that does not mean you have to do everything by yourself you don't have to do everything by yourself you don't have to write every single line of code by yourself you can take whatever already there in as a free library or anything you can use them and also you don't have to reinvent the wheel so the idea is creating a game not creating everything by yourself all right and the next thing 
yeah so if you stuck some brick wall well it's okay to get some help so you can help each other well, that's next put tip so you can call a friend and get some help but keep it uh, you know don't abuse it that means like don't hire an entire outside company to build your game for on behalf of yourself so that's that's bad actually but uh, i don't think it's a big deal to call some friend and get some ask something out so right and yeah and also help each other so you are working well for our case now it may not be practical but uh, you can call each other right so if you were in the same place if you happen to be in the same place working on the game jam well you can ask colleagues so if you have some problem you can ask him say ask them and you can help each other so it isn't it's okay i guess and uh, also like please uh, please remember that all of you are working on your games so therefore don't be a too much of a burden to the other guy if you are seeking help from another member from another team so right help each other and yeah it is always a good idea to use in a version control so anyway since you are working on a simple project the file size would not get very huge so using any free version control would be practical in this situation so anyway so yeah when you have version control and remember to use uh, remember to push your code frequently and so if something went wrong you can just quickly roll back and start it again because uh, debugging and finding what you did wrong could take longer than doing it again so right it is always a good idea to use a version control and also since you are working as a team so it is easier to manage the project and everything when you have version control and if you are already familiar with this so you can use this but if you have no idea what is a version control then don't worry too much about it i would i wouldn't say you have to learn i wouldn't say you have to learn it and use it this moment so yeah maybe keep a physical copy uh, keep another copy in your hard drive and continue with what you have so anyway right having a your version control would be better and also remember to build frequently because sometimes when you build games you get errors some errors that you would that it would take a considerable amount of time to actually trace that error and fix the issue so fixing the issue can be easier but tracing where the problem could be harder so therefore it is better to keep building frequently your game so as you add new features as you new uh, as you add new assets into your project if something went wrong now you know this is the new part that I added into the project so that uh, you already have some idea about the place that this error caused this build error caused so right build frequently so that's a good thing and yeah so you are making a game and you are you have to do it in 48 hours so no matter the target platform uh, you don't have to worry too much about optimizing because you can optimize it later if your idea is a success and even if it's not you can optimize it later and so it would be okay if you can run your project in whatever the machine you have uh, so so as long as it can run on a considerably average machine that would be enough so it doesn't you don't have to make it make sure that it runs perfectly and smoothly on the lowest end machine you can find no don't try to do that don't worry about it 
right and focus on what is important um, that means like when you start making games there are some things inside games for example let's say you are working on a third person shoot and uh, well not that so some idea so to express your game idea you can uh, it's not necessary to have every have to perfect every tiny detail in your project that means uh, if i take the third person shooter project so if it is about shooting then focus about shooting part don't worry too much about like small details like the character's hair or character's eyes or anything that doesn't have a huge impact on the idea that you want to implement so if that part does not have a huge impact that means it's not very important at the moment so focus on what is important to express your game idea and give the priority to those features okay mm, right and yeah so yeah this is just a competition so it's not the end of the world even if you couldn't build it even if you couldn't successfully build whatever the game you want to build so just relax and take it easy and don't forget to have fun because you have friends around you you have food and everything so well for us we don't have because this is a online event but yeah just relax take it easy and have fun while doing it because that's the most important part in game development because don't look at it as a job or anything that you have to do even though one day you might have to do it as your job i would say don't look at it as a job so look at it as a uh, look at it as uh, like doing something some fun activity so by looking at it like that it would help you to enjoy your work and keep your keep you happy so right relax take it easy and have fun and okay so what happens after the 48 hours well if you win the competition and if you are successful if your idea is successful then maybe you will get some partners to get your games into next level so yeah i don't know so right you will have prizes <laughs> i'm not sure actually i didn't look into what happens if your game selected or if your game win this competition or anything i, I didn't really look into that so anyway try what you have to do is keep your take your game into the next level that means the market and most importantly what if you couldn't build the game what if you couldn't finish the idea that you wanted to do for the game jam so still that is okay and if you are uh, beginner maybe this is a good point to kick start your career and also you can find many people many like minded people from the industry it may be ex uh, it may be experts or it can be veterans or it can be beginners like you or anyone so this is a good opportunity to network and also the game you worked on in this game jam use it as a prototype and refine it and develop a complete game out of it even though the game jam is over and continue working on your career so all right i think that's all i wanted to say right yeah that's all i wanted to say and all right guys so happy jamming everyone and uh, yeah i hope i wish you good luck with all the ideas with all the projects that you are going to do and yeah i have put some links in in here uh, they will be in under the video description and so if you have any questions while you are in the game jam so if you are you can drop a message if you have some problem you can drop a message into one of these uh, 
pages so we will try to help you as much as we can but uh, right and uh, all right so good luck i'm out